The ability to move and copy objects with ease is why CAD replaced board drafting many years ago. These tasks are not easy to do on the drawing board, but they're very easy to do in AutoCAD. Move and copy, which is what we're going to look at in this section, work essentially the same way, but with a few differences. The copy command leaves the original object alone, and it keeps repeating. To move an object, you just start the move command by typing move, or the letter M on the command line. It's also found here in the ribbon. Let's open up a file so that we can have some objects to move and copy with. In the Chapter 6 folder, look up the blocks and tables. Open up that file. This is an architectural drawing, and it has some lighting arrangements, some doors, some walls and window treatments here. Very simple drawing, but it gets its point across. So to move something, start the move command. You can type in the letter M, or the word move, or pick it from the ribbon here. Now you select your objects. You can pick one object at a time, like the text here, or you can pick multiple objects, like the lighting here. Once you've selected everything, press Enter, and now you need a base point. Pick that base point, and that's where you will grab those objects from. And then reposition it wherever you need to. Now that moved it. It takes the objects you selected, deletes them, and puts them where you tell it to. That's the move command. Remember, when moving an object, or even copying an object because they work the same way, you need a base reference point and then a displacement point. The base point is the place where you grab the object from. It could be anywhere in your file, or it could be a specific point on that object, or it could be a specific point on any object. If we use the move command again, pick our base point, and then as you move around, you'll see that the object is being moved relative to where you first picked your base point at. So for example, if I want to move this sink, I can start the move command, select it, press enter, use my object snaps, my O snaps, I can type in mid for midpoint, pick the midpoint of the back of the sink here, that's where I'm grabbing it from. Now wherever I put that sink, that's where it's going to go, relative to the middle of that sink. So let's say I put it in the laundry room now. I'll type in NEA for nearest, press enter, and it will put the middle of that sink in the back of it right where I select on that wall. That was the move command. Now that's great. You can be exact dead on with where you pick your object from and exact dead on from where you put it. Or you can just casually pick a spot and put it somewhere. <laughs> it's up to you. AutoCAD will see it as being exact even if it isn't to you. So keep that in mind. Now the copy command works exactly the same way. You just select your objects, you pick a base point, and then you pick your insertion point. So you type in the word copy, or the letters CP for copy. Now don't hit C, that's circle. You want CP for copy. Or you can find it here in the ribbon. It's right by the move command. Now we're going to select our sink again, press enter, we're going to use the midpoint there, and we're going to make a copy of it, put it back where it was. Say, well, I don't have a real good selection point here, so I can't line it up exactly. So that's one thing you want to make sure of, is that when you copy or move something, you grab it from an appropriate point. Well, that's okay, we're pretty close here. We're going to use the move command again, select the sink, press enter, and now pick end point. If I grab the end point here, and now I use the perpendicular O snap, it'll put this line perpendicular to that line we selected, and it's in the right spot. And since it's perpendicular, it moved it orthogonally, or straight, you know, horizontal to the left, and put it in the right place. Most of the time you will move or copy objects from a point on the object. And that's not always true though. You will have instances where you need to move something relative to another location. 
For example, I can move or copy this sink, press enter, relative to the end of this wall. Now if I want it to be the exact same distance when I move it over here, it is. I can put in another counter that's the exact same distance that it was before. And there you go. I got it right on the first try. So keep that in mind.